High volume sales and a lot of new interest is coming the way of Magic the Gathering this week on the top 10. This week we'll get to take a look at some cards from Lord of the Rings making the list, as well as a lot of tried and true cards that players like to have for Commander, as well as a new combo card somehow making it on the list. Hi everyone and welcome back. MTG Moxman here. Thanks again for hanging out with me on my channel for another top 10 video. The hottest selling cards in Magic this week. Of course, every Saturday we bring you the Modern Edition and of course Sundays is the Reserve List Edition. Can't wait to share those numbers with you tomorrow. But when we look at this video and the cards we're going to look at today, some of these cards are a complete surprise and that's because a new combination was found. We'll discuss that as we go through the video. Lord of the Rings is up and coming and I'm still a little surprised these pre-sales are as high as they are. One card has made the list there and a lot of commander options are available and selling very well. Overall, the market is reacting very well to Lord of the Rings. The overall sales volumes are so much higher than they normally are at this time when a new set's coming and an old set's about to rotate out. Poor Aftermath right didn't have a chance didn't have a shot and wizards probably planned it that way and then of course after all this a few weeks later we are going to have commander masters hard to believe those spoilers will be out a little over a month from now now let's take a look at these cards let's get into the action and see where this all leads us because this lets you know which cards are selling the most and why all right guys let's take a look Starting out at number 10 this week is Orcish Bowmasters with 581 sales June 3rd to the 9th of 2023 and this of course is from the upcoming set Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle Earth. The average price is $23.78 US, the market price $22.73, the foil is $26.27 US and €22.90 to get this card into your house. Here in Canada it's going for around $28 to $30 Canadian to get that card and if you take a closer look at what this card offers and why it's so good. It is one black, one generic creature orc archer with flash. It's a 1-1 one, one creature. When Orcish Bowmasters enters the battlefield and whenever an opponent draws a card except the first one they draw in each of their draw steps, Orcish Bowmasters deals one damage to any target and then a mass orcs one. You can start needle picking people off. You can also do damage directly to players. You can nail planeswalkers. This guy gives you a lot of options. And as we know, a lot of decks are designed in Commander for around building and drawing cards. This kind of puts a stopper on that or at least makes you think twice. The flash ability is beautiful. You can just like fling it out there and get the party started. Guys, a great card. Now, I don't like people buying at pre-release prices. We know the prices generally fall. But like Fairy Mastermind, certain cards are going to hold a higher value. And this may be one of them. I'm not going to speculate exactly how well it's going to do because it's just so hard to tell until it actually sees physical gameplay. But I can see it being above $10. It's going to be one of the more sought after cards as is shown just by the pre-release sales, guys. Keep an eye on it, but I wait to see where the prices go. I don't think they'll definitely go much higher. They could go lower, but they're not going to go a lot higher. Now, number nine this week, kind of an interesting card to see here on the list, and that is Bojuka Bog, and that is the Commander March of the Machines deck. Now, the average price for this card is 71 cents. The market is 61 cents, and it's 97 cent euro to get this card to your house. It's about a buck 50 here in Canada. 654 sales this week. Now, this card, of course, is coming out as a box topper version that we're going to see in the Lord of the Rings. So I was a little curious to see why people are seeking this card out, but it looks like people just want to have copies of the card. I didn't find any inconsistencies in people buying the card. I didn't see jar, um, giant allotments of cards being bought, like somebody bought 20 or something. It looks like it is single and small sales, just repetitiously done, unless it's a whole bunch of people kind of buying this card up. And I'm not sure why this particular version is selling, but it is the card that people bought. This is the cheapest one available. So it looks like that's why people are deciding just to outfit some decks with it and have some fun. I mean, being able to exile target player's graveyard is a pretty cool thing. Again, totally being used in Commander all the time. Let's go ahead and take a look at the number eight card. And that is Fairy Mastermind. And that's March of the Machine with 723 sales this week. 
Now this card did start out at pre-release pricing around 20 bucks. It has slowly been gliding down to find like an equal playing field of value. Right now it has $8.12 as the average price. The market is $7.15. A foil is $8.88. That's kind of funny. And then of course, 12 euro, 42 cent to get this card to your house. It's around 12 bucks here in Canada as well. Now with the upcoming Wilds of Drain, people are still speculating on this card and wondering how well it's going to do. But again, you notice it has that flash ability just like the Orcish Bowmasters. And look at it, same kind of casting cost, although it's a little more powerful. One blue, one generic for a 2-1 flying, but it has flash. Whenever an opponent draws their second card each turn, you draw a card. And of course, you can force people to draw cards. This can actually work very well in tandem with the Orcish Bowmaster. Be prepared for stuff like that. You never know where crazy combos are going to come from. And we'll get to more of that later in the video. Now, number seven this week is still the Copper Coat Vanguard March of the Machines Aftermath with 946 sales this week. The average price tag is 40 cents. The market is 36 cents. A foil is 44 cents. It's 50 cents here in Canada. And it's 23 cent euro to get that card into your house. But this card is a decent card regardless of the price. As an uncommon, it has a great ability to just make you have some fun. Come on, it's a 2-2 for one white, one generic. It says it's a human soldier and each other human you control gets plus one, plus zero and has ward one. That is a very nifty ability that should not be underrated in upcoming soldier decks, guys, as well as humans. These combo, you know, double word things are becoming more and more like common and more and more people are going to try to bust this stuff up and do crazy combos. Let's go ahead now and take a look at the number six card. This one, I had no clue. Okay, this is Snap, Dominaria Remastered. This is 1,204 sales this week. And this card was a lot higher pre-release. It's totally crashed, okay? Average price, 50 cents. Market, 47 cents. A foil, 61 cents. 51 cent euro. It's a dollar here in Canada. Now, when you take a look at the card, which of course is a reprint card, it is one blue, one generic. It's an instant. Return target creature to its owner's hand and untap two lands. Definitely from the Urza's block, right? You can tell right away because it has the untapped two lands thing. Now look at this as a thing, guys. You want to save a creature. You want to get your lands back and recast the creature after some global effect goes off. A pretty unique, fun card to have around. And I can see why people would be buying it. At this level of purchasing, though, I had to start looking into it. There were a few people buying 50, 60 copies. So I'm not sure where they're going with that, but that's what's happening, okay? Let's go ahead and take a look at the number five card this week. Another surprising card to see, and that is Surge of Salvation, March the Machine, with 1,534 sales this week. But the average price is $1.31. The market is $1.21. A foil, $2.95. 1 euro 23 cent to get this card into your house two bucks here in canada so what does this card do like so many other amazing cards it gives some amazing fun times ahead of you not for your opponent but definitely for you it is a one white instant you and permanents you control gain hexproof until end of turn prevent all damage that black and or red sources would deal to creatures you control this turn ah now the artwork by it reminds me of like theros style stuff but I gotta say, it's amazing. Cards like this and that green one that gives hexproof, I love that kind of stuff when you're trying to save your army. An amazing card, super cheap. That's why when you look at videos like this, you can just see people filling out their decks. They're like, I'm gonna buy this, I'm gonna buy this, but it costs them next to nothing to get it. Now let's go ahead and take a look at number four, and that is Tribute to the World Tree, March of the Machines, 1,975 sales. Average price, $7.02 US. The market price is $6.60. $7.99 for a foil, $6.69 euro to get that card into your house. And here in Canada, it's about 10 bucks. So let's take a look at what this card offers you. It is a three green casting enchantment. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card if its power is three or greater. Otherwise, put two plus one plus one counters on it. I love this card. For a big heavy creature, you're just drawing extra card draw. And for a lower end weak creature, it gets a couple of plus one plus one counters, making it a little bit tougher, making it stand up. Guys, cards like this, at this price range, beautiful. It's going to see play for years. You can't really ignore great cards like this. But at the same time, I think the price is actually going to dip off a little bit further. I think people can hold off before buying this card. Now, number three this week. Here's where things are getting a little bit weird. 
This is the Arch Fiend of Dross, and this is Phyrexia All Will Be One. The sales really jumped at this point. 3,864 sales. Now, I'm not going to go too deep into this card till we get to our next couple, but let, let's look at this card. We have a card that costs 51 cents as the average. The market price is 49 cents. A foil is 65 cents, and it's 37 cent euro to get this card into your house. Here in Canada, you're looking at a dollar. Now, this is a two black, two other, six six flyer. Phyrexian Demon. Archfiend of Dross enters the battlefield with four oil counters on it. At the beginning of your upkeep, remove an oil counter from the Archfiend of Dross. And then if there are no foil counters on it, sorry, oil counters on it, I said foil, oil counters on it, you lose the game. Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, its controller loses two life. So if it's got no oil counters, you lose the game. But uh, it's a 6-6 six, six for four, so it's a pretty, pretty heavy hitter, right? Okay. So that's a fairly decent card. Now let's just keep going because I want to talk about this in a second. Now number two this week is the Arcane Signet. 4,043 sales. It's a 99 cent card on average. Market says it's 83 cents. 53 cent euro to get this card to your house. It's around a buck 50 here in Canada. Now I'm not going to go too far into this card other than to say it is the Dominary United version which appears to be the cheapest right now that is selling and it is selling a lot of copies, Okay all over the place. Even local places are kind of selling out, which I was a little surprised to hear about. But interesting to see why people are just piling up on this. Slam a comment down if you have any idea why that's happening. I couldn't really find out any definite answer. Now let's go ahead and take a look at number one. And this is Metamorphic Alteration, Core Set 2019 at number one with 4,957 sales. Okay, this card now has an average price of $12. Its market price is $4.76, a foil is 20 bucks, and it's 34 cent euro if you could find one. Take a closer look, it won't be there. And all local shops were sold out, but it was going for a dollar. So up until a couple of days ago, this card was a dollar. Now, why do you guys think that is? And you know I just shared with you another card, and that's because it's because of Dross. All right, there's a new combination that uses Splinter Twin, the uh, Archfiend of Dross, as well as this wonderful alteration where you give your opponent a copy of the Archfiend, but the Archfiend won't have any oil counters on it, and their opponent just loses as soon as it becomes their turn. I know it's horrible to think that that's how it goes, but that's the killer combo that just has everything selling. I had to look it up because the sales made no sense. I looked into it, looked at a few things, a few boards, and you're like, oh, I can see. I think it's being played a lot in Pioneer right now. Guys, it's crazy to think combos like that come along, but they do. But you can see how it drives the sales forward as well. Those cards, it went from like 1,500, all of a sudden we just jumped to like 4,000 sales. And then another 4,000 sales. And then another almost 5,000 sales. It took like all night of counting to get those numbers together. But that is a crazy, insane amount, but it's people wanting to try a combo. Remember, these cards aren't expensive. When reserve list cards go off like that, the price shoots through the roof because there's the limited supply. Here, it's not going to change much. This card will be available. You can wait another like month or so. More will come to market. People will start looking through their stuff. They'll find it. They'll supply it to the stores. And the price will drift down over time. But a very interesting thing to see happen and how the market reacts when crazy stuff like this just poofs out of the air. Now, thanks again, everyone, for staying tuned and checking out the content today. If you enjoyed, don't forget to give a couple of thumbs up there. And of course, tomorrow is the reserve list edition of the top 10. I'm looking forward to going over the numbers with you. Thanks again, everyone. Can't wait to read your comments. Have an awesome day and bring a friend to magic already. And a thank you and shout out to all the fantastic patrons of my channel, guys. It's hard to believe we've been at this this long, and a lot of these patrons have been here since the beginning. So thanks again to new patrons, old patrons, everyone who helps make this content possible each and every day.